Namaskaram, Namaskaram. Uh, today's video is going to be a little long because the topic is of a certain depth. Uh, it is actually very difficult to justify <laughs> the beauty of this topic in this uh, short video, but I'll try my best. Uh, so the questions have come from various sources because these are common questions to most people today, uh, especially the young ones. <laughs> the questions are uh, how to overcome lust and how to overcome sexual desires. Are they good or bad? I'm very habituated to masturbation. How do I come out of it? Is it good or bad? There are mixed reviews online and everywhere else. Uh, Sadhguru has taken up these questions uh, in on multiple platforms. You can find the videos on YouTube. So let's just start with something very basic. What is desire? Uh, there are many schools of uh, spirituality that talk about uh, desire being bad. And some talk about desire being very good and uh, this entire universe happened because of desire between masculine and feminine. I'm here because my parents desired. I am loving my life so I'm, <laughs> I'm very, very happy with the desire. The next question that comes up is what is lust? So when the desire becomes compulsive, very intense, it becomes lust. You could lust over things outside and uh, there's nothing wrong, it's absolutely, you want, you also have to live well, right? Why not? Lust for things. Uh, again, there's no good or bad, it, it's very subjective, it depends on context, time and place. Because spirituality never looks at something as good or bad, right? Morality does. Whether you want to live this life efficiently or not is up to you. So is lust efficient? Again, context, time and place, okay? So say you want to lust for everybody's well-being on the planet, go for it. It's amazing because Prakriti, the nature, is always giving. So when you are actually supportive of the life on the planet, it will support you. You have to understand that lust doesn't come from outside. It's arising from within you. <laughs> yeah, you can. There could be some stimulus outside, but the lust arises from within you only. Desire and lust could apply to anything, actually. So since the focus of today's discussion is sexuality, let's look at sexuality and sexual energy. Typically, the sexuality or sexual energy gets ex expressed in three different ways. Uh, one is uh, recreation, procreation, creation. <laughs> so what is recreation? Anything that you do for pleasure, it could be masturbation included. And procreation is something you're doing for the next generation. And creation is something you're creating something, something you're trying to manifest. Sexual energy arises from Swadhisthana Chakra, which is uh, Right about the Muladhara, Muladhara is our root chakra that ensures our survival and stability. So once our survival and stability is taken care of, our system naturally is looking to express itself outwardly. 99% of, of this energy, the extra energy, is actually used in recreation and co-creation. The potential that's there for creating and manifesting this world is not being utilized <laughs> efficiently and likewise Masturbation is a very inefficient process. I'll tell you why. Okay, so the food that you consume in the body, once it gets digested and absorbed, it becomes lymph fluid. So it takes seven levels of refinement to create the sexual fluids in your body and with masturbation in a snap, that's getting utilized. And that sexual fluids could be used for creation. So for those, who would like to utilize this energy for creative purposes, uh, what could you do? <laughs> Very simple. Uh, please engage in some yogic practices. Uh, with yoga and yogic practices, they'll create a certain distance between you and your body and you and your mind. Why does that help is because uh, you won't be succumbed to the compulsions of the body and mind. Uh, Sadhguru suggests this, you could consume uh, maybe around four to five lean leaves a day in the morning. So the sexual fluid, so the energy gets converted to ojas. Not going to go into the depth of this topic. You eat very consciously. You eat as much as your body and the mind needs. You eat, a, you eat based on the activity you're involved in. Okay, because if you're eating more than what you need, that excess energy wants to get expressed itself. And sexuality is where it expresses itself a lot of times when it, when it doesn't get useful. Simply eating consciously will help you overcome these compulsions. Sadhana, sadhana, sadhana. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. So you'll get the right clarity and you'll also get to live efficiently. Thank you very much. Namaskaram.